videos a lot of his record does look cherry picked now he has to prove it if he's going to be the real gypsy king this is the time he's looking like a different mode he's trying to get into the zone frank warren's looking over to tyson fury laughing Tyson Fury doesn't react now there's two things going on in his head either he's in the zone so much that he's gone into AJ mode AJ mode is one of those modes guys where you go into a dark room you take your psychological losses you get mentally beat down but then guys you go away you no longer give a fuck what people think and you change your mindset from a dark room perspective I don't want to go into that I mean, I've done a video on that a long time ago but I can uh I can go into it another time. Tyson Fury is either trying to go into an AJ mode now where it's just about the business or, which I think, guys, most likely right now, Tyson Fury is realising, shit, this is about to become a reality in two days. Fuck, I should have pulled out. Can I still pull out? Is there any way I can pull out? But, guys, there's not really any way you can pull out now. There's nothing you can really do at the moment. I can't think of any ways how Tyson Fury can pull out right now is too there will be too much jeopardy so it's starting to go into his head now he's just asking how the hell is tyson fury the lineal champ remember tyson fury would always have an answer for this i'm the lineal champ that goes back to jay says sullivan or whatever he used to say he's noticed how tyson fury doesn't even give an answer his excellency thank you crown prince for bringing all of his events to saudi and letting our fans enjoy it thank you thank you now, I think they're asking uh, Usyk's trainer here, yeah, guys. Uh, I, I don't know who this guy is. I've never seen him, but... Salam alaikum, Saudi, Sikh Vita, Ukraina. Everyone, hello. Эта подготовка началась еще с 2018 года. This preparation started back in 2018. So straight up guys I've made videos on this I said Usyk's been training for Tyson Fury for a long time you could say up to 10 years um, since he first looked at him but he said the actual training the physical training for Tyson Fury started in 2018 look how Usyk just looks to the ground because Usyk knows he, this is true and just one week ago the training started in 2018 for Tyson Fury and it finished one week ago. На сегодняшний день Александр готов к своему финальному поясу в супер тяжелом весе. And today Alexander Usyk is ready. And today Alexander Usyk is ready for the final belt in the heavyweight division. For the final belt in the heavyweight division. Ему не важен размер. Just look at this guy looking to the ground. Usyk understands every single word he's saying in his language. Doesn't want to show a reaction. This is that AJ sort of mindset, guys. This is that I'm so locked in that I don't want you to like... I'm not going to big myself up about this because it's just true. Like, you lot can hear, hear the truth. The size does not matter to him. It does matter... Just look at how... He's murmuring something. I don't know what he's saying, guys, but he's murmuring something. Is the opponent who will stay in front of him. Look how Tyson right here, guys, is holding on for his fucking life, guys. Bob Aram ain't going to help you. Frank Warren ain't going to help you. Mate, you better hold on to something, guys. You're going to need God's help. Frank Warren's even feeling the nerves, guys. Frank Warren is feeling the nerves so much that he has to keep whispering shit into Tyson Fury's ear. Just look at this shit, guys. Frank Warren is feeling the pressure. Frank Warren knows what's in front of him as well. <coughs> These that are just seeping with confidence. And I would love uh, to wish patience to Tyson as it's gonna be the most difficult night of his life. I wish patience to Tyson Fury because it's gonna be the most difficult life of his most difficult night of his life. Look at this guy's face. Look at the reaction guys. Eyebrow up, mouth to the side. Shut your mouth me. Guys, Tyson Fury knows what's coming. He knows. Guys, he's Tyson Fury is now changing his colours. That sausage, that all this crazy shit that you want to say back. 
the U6 whole fucking team has taken shots at you one by one, guys. Tyson Fury's whole demeanor has changed. He's trying to go back into that mode where he's trying to do like an AJ mode. But this is the thing with Tyson Fury. One day he's one way, the other day, the next day is the, the next way. This is definitely real words that will penetrate the soul. Now you have to eat your words, guys. Remember that saying? You make your bed, and you better lay in it. You make the bed, you lay in it. This is one of those. Tyson Fury has no reaction. Just a look of con I can't even say it's a look of concern. It's a look of there's two looks to it. Like I'm just in the zone so much that I don't care. But it's odd, guys, because half his fucking face looks like he's a bit in the zone. Half his face looks very concerned. It's an odd state of mind for Tyson Fury right now. He knows there's a lot of truth in what these lot are saying. And Tyson Fury doesn't have any words. The sausage, this, that, all that blabbering, gappy mouth. All that shit's gone, guys. What happened? What the fuck happened, Tyson? What happened? What happened, sir? What happened? <laughs> Fucking no reaction. Normally, Tyson Fury would be piping up, saying some shit on the mic. This guy's just gone into a fucking stare mode. Psychologically damaged. Emotional damage. Shots have been taken and it's getting scarred. There's a scene in The Simpsons, guys, where Homer's bald head showing and he does this middle finger thing and his head's getting clawed at. Uh oh. The top of his head is still showing. Claw at it. This is scalping Tyson through your life. He knows it. Okay, thank you very much, Serge Lapin. Let's go back to Team Fury. Now, let's see if anyone from Team Fury can back him. Uh, Sugar Hill, uh, I'll bring you in here. I think it's quite extraordinary that 20... They go, to, they go to Sugar Hill, the trainer. It's the granddaddy division. It's the division that makes everything in boxing what it stands for. The, two, the, the biggest guys in boxing, the biggest men battling each other. And you have Alexander Usyk. Who's the number one fighter? Yeah. Tyson Fury trying to lock in, lock himself in as much as he can. Tyson Fury was holding the chairs of the support around him. Number one fighter. He's gonna need it. You couldn't get any better than this, and um, this is just something that, like I said, Emmanuel, if he was alive, this is where he would be at, right? I think Sugar Hill gets a little bit emotional here, guys. Here, right now, and for me to be here in his place, I'm just so happy and blessed to. Um, I think he gets a bit emotional here guys i just like i, I looked at this earlier because it's a little bit weird be a part of it and to take what he has taught me over the years of my life don't get me wrong tyson fury's been with this guy for a while so fair play and um obviously his trainer emmanuel stewart has given him that knowledge and he's obviously applied it so he gets a bit emotional not just in boxing but as a man and growing up and being able to understand other men and people and to be able to treat them with respect as I would want to be treated with. You could tell he's about to cry, guys. Like, it's just an emotional thing he's trying to say. With respect. And... He's trying to hold back, guys, because I've never seen him do this. He's about to break down. And this is just one of those times in my life where I just appreciate the things that I've been through in life. Um... I th Tyson Fury is even looking at him. Even fucking hell, look, look at his face. Fucking hell, guys! Oh, this is funny, man. He was like, "Mate, you're getting a bit too emotional here. Yeah? I thought you were gonna fucking attack you, 16. Don't fucking get too emotional on me. This is the funniest face I've seen in my life." Tyson Fury is like, "Yo, I, I got respect for you because you've helped me train." Tyson Fury can acknowledge his trainer's getting emotional for him. This is a nice moment to see, guys, before the fight. Obviously, it's gonna, it's looking like hell on that side. What these lot are planning to do to you, but um, uh, it's a good touching moment. Frank Warren's even like, "What the fuck happened? I've never seen you like this." Bob Aaron's just in a different planet. I think it's gonna be a great fight. That's it. As soon as he's gone back to the fight, Tyson Fury goes back straight. Because this ain't a time for Tyson Fury to get emotional. This is a time now. Why, why do you think Sugar Hill's getting emotional, first of all? Sugar Hill knows that this could be the last fucking fight. He's going to be here with Tyson Fury. Sugar Hill's never like this. Sugar Hill's always straight to the point. Sugar Hill's been affected here as well, guys. This is Usyk's team's fucking psychology attack. And it's attacking not just Tyson Fury. Fucking Usyk's team is attacking Frank Warren. Fucking attacking Fury. It's attack this geezer's face as well. He's possessed. Sugar Hill's gone all emotional. And only it's only Bob Aaron that might just be holding it down. That's about it. But he's 92. 
But I don't know if he holds it. Frank Warren even knows. Frank Warren knows something's up here. Alex Fury knows. Alexander Usyk is one of the best heavyweights. This is a locked in face. One of the best boxers in boxing. He Blowing shit off his shoulder. He's been that for quite some time. And so has time. You know when a man knows how good he is? This is the face, guys. This is a warrior. Tyson Fury. Not in, not in an arrogant way, but he just knows what he's done, what he's capable of. Man's got respect, dedication as well. Honor, principles. This is just the... This is Sugar Hill just getting emotional. Ultimate fight. Two of the best ultimate fighters. Saturday night. May Tyson Fury just has to put one eyebrow up. This is a weird face for Tyson Fury, guys. I'm telling you. But again, he could just be locked in, but... I don't know, guys. The 18th. I'm always going with my fighter, Tyson Fury. You have to go with your fighter, guys, but it's a look of worry and concern here. 100% for the knockout. 100% for the knockout. He looks towards Tyson Fury. It can be... Tyson Fury doesn't want to look towards him, though. This is this is, this is is very bad, guys, psycho psychological, psychological way wise. It's like Shuggy Hill saying, my fighter is going to get the knockout. Tyson Fury doesn't want to even look at his fire. Now again, people are going to say, what the fuck are you on about, man? This and that. Guys, I like psychological breakdowns. I deep things a lot. This may not mean nothing. But guys, I do like looking at the psychology. So in my opinion, Tyson Fury, he can't even look his own trainer in the eye. He's in this other mode right now. Is, is there two things, guys? There's, there's a devil on the left shoulder and there's a fucking angel on the right shoulder. He's either so locked in that he knows what he's going to do or he's down himself, guys. He has to rely on God, guys. That's the only option he's got. That's what I think, guys, personally. But let's see. Challenging. It can be confusing. It can be challenging. It can be confusing. He's literally pro portraying Tyson Fury's mind throughout his whole career. It can be patience, but it's still going to be a knockout. It can be patience, but it's still going to be a knockout. He has to try and say it's a knockout. I don't know if Tyson Fury can believe this. That's what I believe, 100%. That's what I believe, 100%. It's almost like you're just talking for the sake of it. Thank you. And he, he tried to look over to Fury one more time. Thank you very much, Sugar Hill. I don't think Fury gave him that fucking look back to his own eyes. Oh, brilliant. You got too emotional in there. Just notice how these like, are cold killers. There's all sorts of shit going on on this side, guys. Stuff there. Fucking Spencer's trying to clap his fucking hands. Why are you clapping? Let's. Oh, no, no, no. Fair play. He's clapping because he got emotional. Oh, sorry, my bad. Fair play, fair play. But what I'm trying to say, and from a, from a winning point of view, this ain't the time to get fucking emotional, guys. You only get emotional if you know your fucking journey is coming to an end. And it could be coming for an end for Mr. Fury. Bring in the fighters. Let's first speak to Alexander Usyk, the unified world heavyweight champion. Alexander, I have heard you say that you have been preparing for this moment for 22 years. Usyk's been preparing for 22 years. Now we are just days away. This is the man sat in your way. Tell us how you're feeling. Look at his face. Salam alaikum. Hi everybody, people. Just notice how Usyk's always the same. He talked like this in the first press conference. He still talks like it now. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. excited. Excited. I'm grateful for His Excellency Mr. Turkey. Grateful for the Excellency Mr. Turkey. And notice Usyk's English is improving. And who this fight happened. Let's make history. Enough. This guy means business. He doesn't want to say nothing more, guys. Let's make history. Thank you so much. Enough. Thank you so much. Man, a few words. Well, look. Just notice though. This is Usyk. Usyk's been like that through the whole time. The guy's had one thing to say and he stuck to it. Now, the problem with someone like Tyson Fury, when you're going to call someone a sausage, when you're going to change your mind left, when you're going to go right, at some, some point, when you come up, a guy, come, come, up, come up against a guy who doesn't play those games, who's just straight up, who's just taken out Joshua twice, the, the real fucking deal, at some point, you're going to get fucking psychologically broken. And this is, this is what's happening. Alexandra, I'm hoping you'll take a few more questions. Um, what, what was it that you drew? I saw you drawing something while everyone up here was talking. You had your pen, you had your paper, you drew something and put it in your pocket. What was it? Guys, I've been studying Usyk here. At the pre-fight press conference, guys, the post-workout, Usyk stood and studied Tyson Fury like a fucking cat. 
The guy watched Tyson Fury from the stands and he analysed him in his own fucking mind, guys. He just stood there. He wanted to watch what Tyson Fury was doing. Like, not many fighters do that, guys. I couldn't explain it. It was like someone watching... It's not. I was going to say someone watching it's prey, but someone admiring the movement. But then he just realised Tyson Fury's not... But yeah, he was watching him um, at that press conference, uh, at the uh, post... At the uh, open workouts And guys he was just studying him He was doing his own homework And then someone asked him Why were you like st staring like that Over like the banister Like you're watching like a fucking birds or some shit Like you're, you're observing some shit he, The way he was looking at Tyson Fury It's like a guy studying, studying factual Factual stuff Like not like oh I'm just looking at how he's going to train I don't I can't explain it This is a guy who literally was taking interest The same way you go out there Say people who do bird watching They get binoculars And they look in the trees And they like finding different birds When they find a the bird They tick it off their fucking check mark Saying I found that bird Oh we're looking for the blue tit today There's the blue tit I'm not, I, I, I tick it off my list We're looking for the peacock I found the peacock Guys their fucking pleasure is just ticking it off their list He was doing that similar sort of thing Just to fucking view Fury This is a guy who's a bit possessed People think Usyk is a guy who's not crazy The best people The craziest people Sometimes you gotta be a little bit obsessed to be the best Usyk's got that in him, I've seen it uh, It's my uh, homework <laughs> Dev Sani asked him You got a piece of paper You were drawing something What were you drawing? Why have you put it in your pocket? Right now, like probably in the last 10 minutes, Usyk just goes, it was my homework. Understand, yeah? Your homework. A any, any more detail? Understand, yeah? You said that I was good. It's my uh, remember and my uh, view. Oh. It's Bowen. Could you show it to us? Ah, uh, no. Now, no. Guys, fucking Alex um, Usyk has said he uh, my mistake. Usyk fucking wrote a poem. Remember, guys, I've just broken this whole fucking thing down. This whole breakdown. I've done the fucking psychological side from Alex Krasuk to his other ma manager and to his teammate. These lot are doing a psychological attack on Tyson Fury. Fucking Usyk gets inspired in the middle of this, writes his own fucking poem as homework. Right, puts it down, puts it in his pocket. They ask him, "Can you share us share us the poem?" He goes, "Right now, no." These are on another level guys The whole fucking team is on another level Psychologically To fucking Fury's team These lot have got things going on behind the closed doors That the average person is not going to spot But if you study the psychology of this These guys are operating at a higher level On a psychological level to Fury Much higher guys Much more sophisticated And they're all on the fucking same page It's scary Later He knows it He, he knows it Usyk knows it and he goes later. Okay, let's bring in the WBC. Look how he goes back into smiley mode. This is scary, guys. This is like some confidence that the Us Tyson Fury's team would never understand this. This is this is deeply woven within these people. Lineal world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. I can tell Frank Warren's got nerves on him, man. I've heard you speak about quite. Look, you know what? You know how you know uh, Frank Warren's got very high nerves. Both of them have to clap. Very, they both have to raise their fucking hands up and clap like the way Tyson Fury clapped um, when he saw AJ get knocked out, and then he made that reaction. Look at the fucking clap. Tyson Fury can't do it anymore. Tyson Fury's lost the ability to do that shit. It's his team that has to do it now, guys, because they're they're on their last fucking strand. They have to try and build Tyson Fury up here. Look at Frank Warren clapping. I've heard you speak Fuck quite you philosophically that. about this fight as well. How every twist and turn, every high and low, every up and down has led to this moment right here. We're now just hours away from it. Tell us how you're feeling, Tyson. Watch what Tyson Fury says here, guys. Remember, this is the guy that calls you a sausage, gappy teeth. All this crap, guys, you ugly little man. Remember all this shit this guy says? He says it about AJ as well, but forget AJ for now. He said it to Usyk. He called Usyk a lot of names, guys. A lot of shit this guy said. Now watch what he says now. Watch the energy. Watch the change. I'm going to make this short and simple. On top of that, the whole team just attacked him psychologically. They belittled, they belittled him. They, they belittled him because... They belittled his whole fucking nationality, guys. Fucking my man was making poems 
from the British side, like what well, Usyk was, Usyk's trainer was having a shot at his whole fucking nationality with that um, Henry Ford or Henry Long, whatever he said. This is shocked, guys. Let's see what Tyson Fury says. I want to thank God for the victory that I've received already. So, guys, Tyson Fury has no choice. As I said, the only person that can help Tyson Fury here is God, and I'm I'm with that, guys. No skills gonna help him right now. The skill ain't gonna help him. But the problem is you're 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 giving God, you're asking God for the victory. Good. I'm not gonna. I'm ne I'll never put like a, a stop to that. From a psychological level, it's probably the best thing you can say. Um, at a time where you're scared. Um, again, I don't want to go. Ugh, I'm trying to get a bit phil philosophical here, guys. Um, no, no, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Kind of thing. That's the mindset. Tyson Fury is in But the problem The only problem with that guys Is the man you're fucking uh, facing Believes in this I'm not saying more than you But he believes in it And he follows it in the same way In his own heart So how much can it apply guys How much can it apply When you got two guys Who believe in the same thing But one guy's antics are a bit funny Now you're just doing it out of desperation Don't get me wrong You might pay off You may win the fight But this is what it looks like to me guys Let's see what he says Well let's see what he carries on with Sorry and I want to thank everybody involved in putting this massive event on. I want to thank Usek for turning up and challenging me. Um... Just look at what he's saying, guys. There's no sausage, there's no ugly teeth, there's no cappy teeth. And that's about it. Thank you to all the fans who travelled over to support me because I know it's tough times at the moment and money's hard, so... This is vulnerable Tyson Fury, guys. This is the face of a guy that knows his time's up, so the only place he can go for help now is God. And you're going to need the help from God, guys. Like, I can't feel sorry for you here, Tyson Fury. I cannot... Feel, times at the moment. I'm I cannot feel sorry for you, Tyson Fury. You, you offered this guy 70-30 splits. You can't change your personality now. You said a lot of shit about this guy. You're in a vulnerable state. We, we know the pressure's on your shoulders. If you lose this fight, the bout's gone. All that AJ pressure, everything is on your head. You better wish you get it done, man. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't get it done. But you're going to need the help from God. You better be praying from now till the fight... Like you've never prayed before. That's, uh, I'd say that's your best hope. Money's hard, so I aim to put on a show. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you very much. God bless. No insults, no nothing, guys. Tyson, I'm hoping you'll take a, a couple more questions from us. I mean, uh, what, what would it mean to, to beat this man? You've described him as the toughest fight of your career. It would be, the, I guess, the best win of your career. I'm ready. I'm ready. And he takes a big, big gasp because now he knows, guys, it's time. There's no more running. There's no more hiding. Yes, you're ready. Obviously, people say you had the eye cut. You needed it. You took the extra two months. Hopefully, it helped you. You got, you're in better shape. You better be ready now because that Usyk guy, all those times you've been pulling out, he's imagine, imagine this, guys. Imagine this, guys. Let me just break something down to you. Say if you were to take an exam for a driving test. For you, say you want to say you brought a car, say you brought a car, yeah, you've brought your car already, and you know you're gonna you're gonna pass your test and you're gonna be allowed to drive it legally. Imagine every time you're taking that test, the instructor's not um, the guy who's supposed to give you the lesson, the driving instructor who passes you, he's pulling out, he's not coming to the test. So guys, legally you can't get on the road, and each time he's telling you we'll reschedule it in about four or five months. And but you you're gonna continue to take your lessons. So you're going to still pay the driving instructor to get lessons because you don't want to forget how to drive. That's frustrating, guys. You've made the guy pay another two to three thousand pounds worth of lessons. I mean, he didn't need to do that. If you turned up to the day where you're supposed to fucking pass the test, you would have saved that guy a lot of money. Now, that's how I'm going to compare the situation to Usyk. Usyk was training for Fury after Fury after Fury. Pull out after pull out after pull out. That frustration builds up, guys. That thing that was already strong, you've only made it stronger. So Tyson Fury is in a mode now. He has to pray to God and get in a very vulnerable state, guys. It's from a psychological point of view. He can't shout no insults anymore to Usyk because he knows the reality of what he's going to be facing. I've got nothing to say apart from I'm ready for a good fight. I've got nothing to say apart from I'm ready for a good fight. When has Tyson Fury ever fucking said that, guys? Go back and find me. He never says it. He's been psychologically destroyed. And right now, the only the only chance he really has is a lot of prayer to God. And that's the only thing that can help him win the fight. I'm being honest, guys. From a psychological point of view, he's got fucked here. 
Remember, guys, karma is a bitch, man. You fucking, if you psychologically wreck people, I'm not, I'm not saying like wild, I got.